What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week we're going to check out a building creation tool that can really quickly create things like barns and sheds and outbuildings with just a couple clicks. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so you can download Building Creator at the Smart Build Systems website. So I have a link to this in the notes down below. So um, if you're in, more interested in this, uh, you can reach out to these guys through this form in order to download it and give it a try. I will note this is kind of more of a professional tool. So I think it has a higher cost associated with it. I think the overall cost on this one is something like $1,800. But this is a tool specifically for people that are doing this professionally. This isn't a hobby tool. This is something that's gonna save you hours and hours and hours if you're working in this industry. So let's take a look at what it can do. So this is really cool. When you first install it, what it comes with is there's a spec editor and then there's other options over here to add parts and pieces to your building. So you always start with the spec editor. So we're gonna click over into the spec editor and right now you can see how there's options in here for size, advanced options, colors, other things like that, right? So let's say, for example, that we wanted a, we'll call it a 36 foot by 30 foot building like this. Well, notice how when I type those values in here, this actually comes in here and it creates a building to those specifications. So if you look at this, if we come in here and measure it, so if we do a measurement from this corner to this corner, you can see how it's 36 feet wide by 30 feet long. And one of the cool things about this is this is live. So let's say you wanted this to be 36 by 48, something like that. Notice how this building automatically updates in order to do that. So you don't have to come in here and create any of this manually. When you're working with a tool like this, you can literally just come in here and just adjust these and then as you tab out of the boxes, it's gonna adjust the building in here for you. And so that can be a huge time saver right there. So just modeling something like this out, um, even if you're really good at SketchUp, probably could have taken, um, especially if you were gonna come in here and model things like the trim, it could easily have taken 30 to 45 minutes, um, this, this piece right here. And what I've done is I just typed in three values and I have a building. Um, so everything's adjustable. So you can come in here and you can adjust like your different roof types. So you can have a slope, you can have the Western roof type, um, different kinds of gables on different sides, other things like that. So this is really a versatile way of looking at these pre-manufactured or looking at these metal buildings. So in addition, you can also adjust things like the pitch of your roof. So if you wanted it to have like a six inch pitch, for example, you can see how I can adjust that right here on the go. So you can also adjust things like if it has wainscoting, so like the different color at the bottom, you can adjust if it adds like the slab on grade, as well as if there's gonna be an overhang or if it's just gonna kind of stop at the edge of your building. So again, making those changes is really easy. So in addition, you can adjust your roof types and roof colors. So you can see how I can come in here and I can adjust these colors to really anything that I want. So I usually go with the dark red for any kind of buildings that I'm looking at here. Just because it's kind of a classic building, but you can adjust your siding type, you can adjust your wainscot type, all those different things. So for example, if you have different types that you want to go around here, like brick, stone, block, other things like that, you can add those in here as your wainscot, as well as giving you the ability to actually adjust the colors on those. So for this one, for example, I would probably do the brilliant white on the dark red. And then you can also adjust the colors of the corners. So you can match your roof, match your siding. You can also do a user define. So you could set your own corner color in here if you wanted to do that. Usually I like for that to match, so we're just gonna go with this for right now. Um, so you can also adjust things like your soffits and your fascias. This gives us a simple building, right? Well now, we need to start adding things like openings to it. Well there's tools over here for doing that. So there's an option in here for overhead doors or barn doors, whatever you want this to be. So let's say that we wanted to add a barn door right in the center, right here. So notice how when I move my mouse over this building, the door automatically locks to it and allows you to place this based on dimensions. And so for right now, let's just find something that's close to the middle, 
right here. And notice how this isn't centered, right? But with my spec editor open, notice how there's an option in here where I can adjust this from center. So if I was to come in here and set this to be zero feet from center, that's gonna be centered on my wall right here. And so this door is gonna be fully adjustable as well. So let's say I wanted this door to have a width of 12 feet. I could adjust that as well as a height of 10 feet. I could adjust that as well. So notice how I can easily make the change to this door. I can also set if it's open or closed. So in addition, you can also change these to different styles. So for example, you could add the glass or the grid glass doors right here. And so these are all fully adjustable as well. So you can adjust this so that let's say you wanted this to have a different color associated with it. You can make that change right here inside of the program. And again, we're talking probably hours worth of work that we can do in about five minutes right here. So again, that's part of why the cost is what it is, is because this is really a professional tool. If you do a lot of estimates like this, this could be a massive, massive time saver. So you've also got the options in here for actual like people doors. So let's say we wanted a door over here. You could adjust that. And then the different kinds of doors are adjustable in here as well and the colors are adjustable. And then I could add a couple windows in here if I wanted to. Notice how easy placing these windows in this building is. And so in addition, you can also add some architectural features to your building. So if you wanted like a cupola up here, you could make that change. And so you can see how this is gonna lock to the roof of your building. And you could definitely come in here and either make the adjustment in here by selecting it and typing in a value. So let's say we wanted this to be 10 feet. You could adjust that. You could set this one to be zero feet from center. Then we could adjust this one to be 10 feet from the back. And so not only can you create simple buildings like this, you can also use the shed function in order to create more complex buildings. And so we'll go ahead and save this barn and then we'll create a new one. But now let's say we wanted to add a new building. We would click on the new button right here. We can go ahead and create that new building. And for this one, let's make it bigger. So we want this building to have a width of, we're gonna call it 60 feet and a length of we'll call it 120 feet so it's going to be a much longer building like this so like if you're building an arena building or something like that well then let's say that you wanted another building coming off of the side of this well there's a function over here called the add shed function and what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to add a shed or like an out or like an outcropping to this building so in this case we're going to click to add this we're going to make some changes let's set the length of this one to something like 40 feet then we can set the depth to something like 36 feet, something like that. And so the roof is a little odd right now because we have this set as a left hip. And so we're just gonna set this to be a gable roof. Let's go ahead and adjust our height so that it matches this other building. So I think the other building had a height of 10 feet, so we'll leave it right there. So you can see how I'm able to quickly add that right here. And then let's say that we wanted to add like a deck or a porch, something like that. Well, you could add another shed to the end of this and you could set this one so that it's centered. And then, because I don't want this to have siding on it, there's an option in here for setting this to be either open or cantilever. So if this was cantilever, this is gonna hang out. This might be a little long for it to hang out. So we'll go ahead and leave it as open for right now, but we're gonna adjust this post spacing so that it's more like, 16 feet so that I only get one post right here. And we'll set our beams and our posts to match our trim. But then say that this was to have an entry door. You can add your entry door right here on this wall. And then we're just gonna set this to be from center again. We're gonna set this to be a double door like this. So you can see how creating this building again was just ridiculously fast. So super fast, 
Um, so if you do a lot of these, this could be a really, really big time saver. So um, we, we could add a bunch of other things in here. Like for example, if we wanted an overhead door on this building, let's set that right here. But let's say that we were done and we've got this set the way that we want it. And so in addition, there's also the ability if you go into your extension setup, you can set your preferences over here for your default trim widths and other things like that. But even more important is if you go in here and click in this list, you can actually create custom items and save them in here. And so you can add an item in here and then you can actually customize the size in here so that you can access them really quickly. So then, like for example, if we were to call this 10 foot by 10 foot sliding door, right? And then we were to click on our doors. If you click on the little button right here, your 10 foot by 10 foot sliding door will actually show up in this list. So, and we didn't adjust the description or we didn't save the description for some reason, but you can see how that door opening is showing up on that list. So you can create those custom objects in here really quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that out. So then there's also options for integration with uh, Smart Build. And so Smart Build is basically a drawing and creation like online program. What you can do is you can export your buildings to Smart Build and it'll actually figure out the different framing and sheathing types and also your pricing. So you can use this to take your 3D building and generate prices as well. So I think there's an additional cost for that integration. Um, I think it might be like $75 a month or something like that. But again, if you're talking about, like if you work as a metal building creator or builder, and you're talking about an integration in here where you can build a building in 3D and then just click a button and integrate it with Smart Build and have like drawings created and costs created all with a click basically that's a huge deal coming from an estimator that works in a different industry um, so that's a super cool function so if you're interested in learning more about building creator um you can check that out at the link in the notes down below if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketchup content every week uh, if you like what i'm doing on this channel please consider supporting me on patreon every little bit helps so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below but in any case thank you so much for taking the time to watch this I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.